Hello, it's Nick. Today I want to show you how to design a button that turns into the icon on click. First, let's type a text. Select the text and choose a different typeface, Poppings. Change font size to 14 pixels. Select the text and add it to auto layout. This will be a container for our button. I will make the frame slightly larger. Add a fill color border stroke and corner radius to make the button look roundy and rename the frame to first let's make our button a bit more fancy by changing its color to purple change the stroke color and the color of the text label create a copy of this frame and put it below the first one this will be a mouse hover state i will change the fill color of this frame from white to purple and change text color to white to create a contrast. Finally, let's hide the stroke since we don't need it. Create a copy of the second frame and drag and drop the checkmark icon to the frame. I'm using checkmark from the SF Symbols library. Because the frame uses auto layout, the icon will position nicely in the frame, so I don't need to worry about spacing. Let's delete the text label in this version, select the entire frame and hide the fill of the frame. Select checkmark object and recolor it to purple. Click on the checkmark object again and in the right side panel, in position section, choose Ignore Auto Layout. This will allow us to break the constraints of the auto layout and position the checkmark icon the way we want it. On a keyboard, press Shift and down arrow key to move it down. I will position it slightly below the frame. This will be the starting position for icon movement. Select the icon and hide the icon group. Note, if you're using SF symbols, you need to hide the group of vector objects, not the icon frame itself. Create a copy of the third frame. Click on icon group and show it. Select icon and press Shift and up arrow key to move it to the top. Position the icon in the center of the button frame. Select all frames and in the right side panel, click Create a Component Set. Give it a name Button. And switch to the prototype mode to create transitions between the variants. Click on the first variant and create a transition to the second variant. Transition will be triggered while hovering. It will be a smart animate, is in and out, 300 milliseconds timing. Create a transition between second and third variant. This transition will be triggered on click. It will also be smart animate, is in and out, 300 milliseconds timing. Finally, create a transition between third and fourth variants. This transition will be triggered after a delay of 1 millisecond. Smart animate, but the curve will be bouncing, with default 800 milliseconds timing. Time to test our design. Create a test frame, navigate to the Assets tab in the left side panel, drag and drop the button component to the test frame, Click Preview. Looks good. Let me know what you think about this transition in the comments. Thank you.